Let's start by looking at how Dobson's poems represent individual and collective human experiences. As you are studying a suite of seven poems, we will look at examples from a few poems for each aspect of the rubric. When it comes to your essay, you will need to demonstrate a strong holistic or overall understanding of all poems. Thinking back to our lessons on the texts and human experiences rubric, we know that individual experiences are situations and events that happen to one person and shape who they are. This includes really important life events like puberty and motherhood. It can also include seemingly mundane experiences like a picnic. Rosemary Dobson has a knack for helping us take a fresh perspective on the daily routines and small moments that make up our lives. For example, in Young Girl at a Window, Dobson depicts a young girl's experience of coming of age. She is on the cusp of puberty and looks to the future with hesitation. The Horatian Ode form of this poem adds to the subjective or personal nature of this experience. Everyone experiences puberty differently. A Horatian Ode is a carefully constructed contemplative poem that explores personal themes. The girl's situation is symbolised or represented by the window. It is a threshold where she can look out on the world and all her future opportunities. The fact that she stands at a window signals that she is in a liminal state, meaning she's caught between two things, childhood and womanhood. The difficulty of this experience is captured in the mixed metaphor in more than mortal swords are crossed on thresholds at the end of day. A metaphor is when one thing is described as being something else. Here we have a combination of sword-crossed thresholds and the end of day. Both of these represent the end of childhood and her passage into the next phase of her life. The reference to crossed swords also suggests that her path is bound to lead her through conflict and strife. It's puberty, after all. Another deeply personal experience is depicted in Cockcrow, motherhood. Click through to our lesson on Cockcrow if you need to refresh your knowledge of the poem. Although motherhood is common enough, the individual dimension of it is fascinating. Many mothers struggle with the burden of motherhood and mourn the loss of their individual identities. They can become overwhelmed by the responsibility of caring for a child or multiple children. Cockcrow explores these often unspoken pains and helps us empathise with our mums. In the poem, the speaker describes a nighttime walk she takes so she can be alone and reclaim her sense of self. The confessional style of the poem allows Dobson to explore this traditionally taboo or forbidden topic. The personal nature of the experience is confirmed by the speaker's use of first person language, which is when someone refers to themselves with I, me, or my. For example, wanting to be myself, alone, I took the road and walked the way I'd come. We can hear her yearning for a breath of fresh air and some space to think. The personification of the night in The Night Absolved Me of My Bonds indicates her relief to finally take a break. Personification is when you give human qualities to something that isn't human. Here, the knight is personified as a figure of authority who liberates the speaker from her heavy burdens. She finds solace in solitude, walking up and down the road, knew myself, separate and alone, cut off from human cries, from pain. The road is used as a motif or recurring symbol that represents her escape in search of a breather. Can you blame her? Motherhood is the world's toughest job, after all. <laughs>